This video looks briefly at two objects, in this case an engine with a driving force of 50,000 newtons and a resistance of 1,000 newtons and some sort of trailer which has a resistive force of 500 newtons joined by coupling. Now this train here, because it's joined by this tow bar, will be feeling some effect of the trailer and it will feel effectively a tension going to the left i.e. it can feel the effect of the trailer behind it which tries to sort of slow it down. However, the trailer is being pulled along by the tow bar so therefore the trailer feels an opposing force another tension pulling it to the right. Now we can therefore write down two equations of motion one for the engine and one for the trailer. Now the engine has a force to the right of 50,000 newtons. But this is being opposed by resistance, resistance force of 1,000 and also by the tension in the tow bar. And this will equal its mass times its acceleration. So we use Newton's second law to write down the resultant force equal to mass times the acceleration. There's also the trailer. Now this trailer feels the tension. Not the driving force, but the tension. So the tension pulls it to the right, and the resistance force of 500 tries to oppose motion. And this will equal its own mass times by acceleration. Now from this, I can generate an overall equation of motion. If I add these two equations together, then the overall equation of motion becomes as follows. So we have 50,000 minus 1,000 minus 500. So that gives us an overall driving force, equal resistance force, of 48,500. And the two t's cancel out. So this will equal these two together, which is 13,000 A. So I've therefore managed to get rid of the T's. They've cancelled out. So A will equal 48,500 all over 13,000. Which, if we work out, gives us an acceleration of 3.73 metres per second squared. Now to find the tension, I now pick either equation, so e.g. the second one, so T must equal 3000 times by A plus the 500. To work this out, find the tension in the tow bar is equal to a whopping 11,692 newtons. So the trick to these questions is to consider the coupling and the tension within it and to look at both objects separately from which we get an overall equation of motion to find A and then use one of the equations to find out what the tension is.